Life can be hard. It can be difficult to stay motivated and keep going. But if you want to reach your goals and make your dreams a reality, you must keep running. When life throws you curveballs, it can be easy to give up. You might be tempted to stop pushing yourself and just sit back and relax. But if you want to succeed, you must keep running. When things get tough and it seems like the world is against you, don't give up. Instead, remember why you're doing this in the first place and keep running. No matter how hard it gets, never give up. Believe in yourself and keep pushing forward. Don't let obstacles stand in your way. Keep running and you'll eventually reach your destination. Remember, the finish line is closer than you think. Keep running and don't let anything stop you. You can do this. When you feel like quitting, don't. Instead, take a deep breath and remember how far you've come. Don't let your hard work go to waste. Keep running and keep striving to reach that finish line. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. Don't give up and never give in. Believe in yourself and keep running. You can and will make it to the finish line. No matter how hard it gets, you must keep running. Don't listen to those who tell you that you can't. Instead, listen to your own voice and keep pushing forward. Believe in yourself and keep running. You can do this. Don't let anything stand in your way. Keep running and eventually, you'll make it to the finish line. So don't give up. Believe in yourself and keep running. And go live life, the unlimited edition. We all battle with ourselves more than anyone else in our lives. Whether it's an internal struggle of doubt or a battle against our own insecurities, we often find it difficult to overcome our own minds. It's easy to get lost in the challenges of everyday life, but taking the time to focus on yourself is the most important battle you should be fighting. Playing one-on-one -on -one with yourself is the best way to face your inner battles and come out victorious. It's a chance to be honest with yourself, to reflect on your strengths and weaknesses, and to learn how to better handle yourself in the face of adversity. When playing one-on-one -on -one with yourself, try to think of yourself as your own coach. Think of the game as an opportunity to practice and hone your skills in self-awareness, emotional regulation, and problem solving. This can help you to recognize blind spots and develop strategies for dealing with them, the key to winning your own one-on-one -on -one match is to remain mindful and honest. If you make a mistake, acknowledge it and use it as an opportunity to learn. If you're feeling overwhelmed, take a break and give yourself the time and space to regroup, try to ease your mind, or to just relax. Playing one-on-one -on -one with yourself is a chance to look inward, to build resilience, and to foster growth. So, take a break from life's everyday battles and challenge yourself to an inner game of one-on-one. -on -one. You may be surprised at the results. It's important to remember that playing one-on-one -on -one with yourself is not about running up the score. It's about learning how to be better, not perfect. It's about understanding yourself and your weaknesses, and working on them to become stronger. It's about being kind to yourself and forgiving yourself for mistakes. It's about accepting your flaws and finding ways to improve. 
So, take a break from life's everyday battles and challenge yourself to an inner game of one-on-one. -on -one. And may the best you win. So that you can live life, the unlimited edition. It's a phenomenon we've all experienced in one way or another, the guilt bully. They come in all shapes and sizes, but their mission remains the same, to make you feel guilty for not meeting their expectations. Whether it's a parent, teacher, boss, or friend, the guilt bully can be difficult to spot and even more difficult to resist. But fear not. We've got the scoop on how to spot the guilt bully and how to resist their bully tactics. The first step in spotting a guilt bully is to recognize the telltale signs of their behavior. They may try to guilt trip you into doing something you don't really want to, or they may use guilt as a way to get you to comply with their demands. They may also manipulate the situation to make you feel like you're the one at fault, or they may use guilt as a way to control you. No matter what their tactics are, they all share one common goal, making you feel guilty. Once you've identified the guilt bully, the next step is to resist their tactics. First, it's important to remember that you are in control of your own decisions and actions, no one else can make them for you. Second, don't let the guilt bully's words or actions define you. Stand your ground and remind yourself that their tactics are not acceptable. Finally, practice self-care and be kind to yourself by recognizing that you are not obligated to do anything that makes you uncomfortable or that contradicts your own values. At the end of the day, the guilt bully's tactics are meant to manipulate and control. Don't let them get away with it. With the right recognition and resistance, you can protect yourself from the guilt bully and their tactics. So don't get guilt bullied and go live life. The Unlimited Edition Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell, thanks.